Yo, what is up, everybody? So, I haven't done a pack opening in a while, so I want to just take a crack at, uh, well, my Shadow Star subscription, because this is probably the last time I'm going to go for such a large amount, because as much as I like Shadow Stars, it's a lot of packs with not a ton of variants in terms of what I want. Now, this does have a lot of variants in the hollows and rares, so that's pretty cool, and I wanted to make sure I had at least one of, instead of everything for the entirety of the original, like, first run of the Shadow Star, so I have... A, I have one of every card for the first eight packs and probably nine here. And that was my goal. So now that that's done, let's just jump into these packs and a couple things I want to talk about. So it's Shadow Star Celebration, but it's really just Shadow Star's Halloween theme with our Halloween Necroft. We have Halloween Blazerus. Uh, is this like the love letter to uh, Blazer Star TK? Because there's also Helios as the rare in this pack, which is like basically we're playing OTK in Shadow Star's nine. Quindra, this pulls our arc goes so hard. Like, that is... That's not an Aleshals card. <laughs> that is not an Aleshals card. Uh, Neblio, we just saw him in Daybreak. He's fine. Gloombat is also another card I want to talk about here. Um, so, the only unique common printed in this that's not out yet. I think Gloombat's really good. Um, it really going to punish people for playing pretty heavy back row in Lunar. I don't know how much you play this outside of Lunar because when you play it in Lunar you have the options of going, okay, special Gloombat, maybe it's a Dracking, special Gloombat, Nexus to it, pop a back row, stuff like that. So I think there's a, a world where this kind of gets slotted into like Lunar Nexus come Moonrise with, uh, if you guys saw Comalis in the leaks, um, as like a weird equal links, like two card equal link setup where you go this special, Comalis, Artemis, Nexus to Gloombat, Disenchant from Gloombat, pop a back row, and play Lunar Nexus. Hey, I was just talking about playing Blazers OTK, there's the Halloween Trifernal. So yeah, basically this, plus the Helios in the set, plus Blazer is like, you can just play out the box and our Lunar Spirit. Just, oh, and all these stickers. Just out the box, you can play, like, basically OTK, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Blazers OTK, like, I don't know. A Trifernal is not a card that a ton of people play, but I think it's a card that people want to play more of, and outside of Blazers OTK, I don't know if there's space to play him, but maybe someone figures out something. All right, we'll go through this quick again. So we got, obviously, Necroft, the Blazers, the Twindra. Oh, actually, I didn't stop in Twindra. Uh, this is Twindra's second ever printing outside the starter decks. Oh, and organized play packs. Which is kind of awkward because Hydrate, Twindra, Pantera are only in... They're not in normal packs. They're only in uh, Shattered Stars. Shattered Stars again. And then Pantera was box hoppers. There's tons of Panteras. There's tons of Hydrates. There's not as much Twindras. So it's nice to get the extra Twin... I'm not even opening the pack. And we got another Trifernal pack. And another Owloon. Interesting. But yeah, we, we haven't gotten a ton of Twindras. So it's nice to get the extra Twindra. Even though it's kind of the middle child that you only run like one of. It's cool to see more because there are people that will try to go Pantera for, you know, Pantera dies to EQ or Royal and then you go, cool, now let's throw all my Twindras and Hydrix out, right? Alright, now we can go through these pretty quick. We got Necrop Blaze, Twindra, Pulsar again, Neblio, Gloom, Bat, Helios, Chariot. What was I saying? It's, we're building OTK out of Shadow Stars. Actually, if I think about it, oh, and our student must be Illuminate. Thinking about it. Can I possibly build a deck using only cards printed in Shattered Stars? I mean, in Fire Shattered Stars we have Exalt Flare. We have Necro Blazers Trifernal now. We have Helios Chariot Ride. Um, we have all the Divine Runes. We have Kinleo. We have Valkyries. I think we can make a Fire OT deck maybe not the most optimal one but just straight out of parts from shattered stars i gotta think about that oh posthumous this card is so good um obviously we're waiting for more lunar support but i legitimately think this is playable now if you play circle the sky which is hey, also in shattered stars um where you just play some lunar stuff you play like gloom bats and artemises and go like gloom bat special into circle the sky to gloom bat into <laughs> posthumous and a Leviathan Spirit. Like, I think you can get around the, uh... 
<laughs> the like clunkiness of Postumus just by playing Circles of Sky and like consistency cards. Postumus is pretty aggressive. Like all of our Lunar 3 drops thus far have been really aggressive. And a lot of the one drops, like uh, Spectaris, are pretty aggressive cards. So I think that maybe we just Lunar's aggressive and you just play maybe Circle of Sky and get to the big guys. We need to see the Circle of Sky still. So hopefully that's what this is. Okay, Circle of Sky, this is the top right one. One Circle of Sky down. I really like Circle of Sky as a card. I know people are like, oh, I don't want so many Circle Also another Aulum. Oh, I don't want more Circle of Skies, yada yada yada. I, I, I think it's fine that we have so many Circle of Sky arts. <laughs> like, I am a fan of Circle of the Sky, so let's put this, so it's top right. Let's put it there, we'll try to collect all four, make the art piece there. Um, I really like Circle of the Sky. I think it's a really fun card. I think it's underrated, criminally underrated. I think there's a lot of interesting things you can do with it. Um, you know, obviously there's the Ash Rabbit tech that we were running in Season 2 of the Illustria. Shout out to my Impera Watts. That's fine, but I mean, like, again, like I just mentioned with Gloombat, you could circle to Gloombat or something, or Nexus to Gloombat, Nexus to a Boombat, keep the Boombat in play, maybe protect it with some other stuff. It cycles itself, and it's pretty cheap, and in some cases, it's free if you pay off the cost of the Lestral you're using the Receive Trigger for. Neblio, Gloombat, and oh, same circle of the sky. And a new Spirit Zapter. You thick boy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think just play Circle of the Sky, and it's not a bad card. Like, I think most decks that run Nexus or run Divine can probably run two of them, and not feel too bad, especially with something like the Fortel stuff. Like, if you set up with Apollos, you know what you're drawing. Circle of Apollo to, like, a Corvishon, get the extra draw, finagle with stuff on top of your deck more, just like, so you finagle with your deck more so people don't know what you're drawing. Like, ooh, Flurmine and Lycoris. That's probably my favorite Circle of Sky. This is the bottom right. We'll pop it there, and another Leviathan. Still looking for Taratlas, my boy. Still looking for basically half the spirits. <laughs> oh, we'll get them, we'll get them, we'll get them. We got another eight packs to go. Oh, uh, where was I talking about? Circle of the Sky, right? Like, yeah. I mean, I said all my points about Circle of the Sky. Uh, what else we can get hollow in this set besides Circle of the Sky and Posthumous? Ooh! Circle of the Sky does not want to be stopped talking about. So that's Luminate and Owloon. That's the bottom left. One more. Oh, and there's the Teratlas. I love this art so much. I still think the Stellar art is probably my favorite. The Full art is probably my second favorite, but that's definitely my third favorite art of Teratlas right now. He's such a lad. <laughs> RIP my Earth decks. I need to come up with a new Earth deck since Retaya got banned still. I don't know what I want to make it. I was trying to maybe make like Earth, or not Earthless, a Tritialis fruit. I don't think that'll work, but I think there's still room for Earth to get explored because right now only people are playing like Earth Nexus. Um, but I think there's space still to explore more Earth cards. Especially since they have some pretty crazy stats. You know, go back to like Earth Beat Down maybe. Circle this guy again. Another owl. I'm gonna load up on owl moons. Dang, I'm just gonna have to become a lunar caster. Foreshadowing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like what other things does Earth do outside of Nexus? I mean, I tried the bearer bib stuff, only works with Jataya. Um, we got some curse orb that doesn't do a spine sec, maybe. I could try doing a spine sec deck, like wind earth beat down. See how that goes, but it's just hard to make an Earth deck now without. Ooh, another Posthumous. Not gonna lie, I already have three of these. But all right, for technical difficulties, moving on to the last five packs. I completely forgot what I was talking about, where I was. Um, anywho, <laughs> we're still looking for what Poison Nectar, uh, the Vipyro Circle of Sky, Stellars. Hello, another. Hey, there's Vipyro. Just talking about you. I just want your Circle of Sky art, please. Thank you. So we got four packs left. All right, so we got four Stellars in these, right? Uh, reverse. I don't even remember what the Reverse Stellars are for this. Oh, I just want that one open. Um, what are the Reverse the 99s in this? I don't even remember. Uh, <laughs> whoops. But yeah, let's get some of those. Bloombat, Trefernal. Hey, Lycoris, I think we're only missing one spirit now. I don't... 
Let me double check that. Do we get all of our spirits? Yeah, we're gonna pause here. So we have our Lycoris, we have our Vipyro, we have our Alloon times a million, we have our Tyrallis, we have our Leviathan, we have our Zapter, our Illuminate. So, who are we missing? Flurmine. Just missing Flurmine. Then we have all eight spirits. Still missing Poison Nectar. Still missing a Circle of the Sky. Not looking good for the odds of getting all the cards in, in the Shadow of Stars, but hey, that's the break sometimes with packs. Infernal. Hey, Flurmine. All right. There's all eight spirits. And we got extra. Alun, so we actually put Alun in a deck. Maybe you actually run the spirits. That's another thing. Like these spirits are really cool, but man, it's so hard to get enough of these types of spirits or these arts of spirits to actually like build a deck with. Unfortunate, but hey, we have other cool stuff, and this is the Flurmine Circle Flurmine. Last pack magic, I hope. Last pack magic, hope please game. Game, Dan. Lustrals, powers that be, slap the pack. Nacra, Blazerus, Twindra, Pulse, Nemblio, Gloom, Bat, and another post you miss. Alright, so we missed the Circle of the Sky. Unfortunate. We missed Poison Nectar. Unfortunate. But I do think I might try to build an OTK deck with. Just Shadow Stars card. I think I could do it. They got Necroft, Blazerus, Trafernal. Gloom Bats could go in that deck instead of Helios Chariot Ride, maybe? Or not Helios Chariot, uh, Chains of Prometheus. I mean, I get Hephaestus, Kimlio, I got Helios. I think you can make a competent deck out of just Shadow Stars cards. As weird as that sounds. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna come back to that. But yeah, that is my Shadow Stars opening for today. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of my commentary. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get everything I needed or wanted, I should say. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one.